What's up, Internet? This is Will Dusmig, and this is... Jack Hammer. And I was going to say, we are Wild Stallions then, for a second. But we're not, <laughs> we're not, we're no, not Wild no, Stallions, no. no. We no. Are. Together, we, we are, are Schmeg Hammer. Hammer. There we go. Yeah, that was not what we're going to plan on doing, but there we go. It came out like that. So basically, uh, this is going to be, hopefully, weekly. Weekly podcast, Ho- yeah. Hopefully. Well, if we can get together. Hopefully, weekly in there. Yeah. Why oh. not? Brackets. Hopefully. Close brackets. Weekly podcast. Um, you call it the Smeg Hammer podcast, yes? Happy with that? Why not? It's Why straightforward. Not? It, it says what it is on the tin. But this is the Smeg Hammer Gamescom 2013 Roundup podcast, where we round up Gamescom 2013 on the Smeg Hammer podcast. So that kind of makes sense, I would have thought. Yes. Yeah. It's very much uh, <laughs> a roundup of what happened at Gamescom. Everything that we can think of anyway. Or at least all the relevant points. Yeah, we're going to try and keep it small and interesting. And um, I mean, it makes sense to kick off with... The big announcements, so everything coming out of the Sony and the Microsoft camp? Yeah, I guess. Let's start with that, why, John? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm suddenly needed to get comfortable. I've been sat like this for the last half an hour trying to get this podcast ready. It's like, hmm, I am no longer comfortable. Let's just sit properly and discuss this like a grown man doing yeah. silly voices <laughs> into microphones on computers of people on the internet who listen. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because you know that that's how I roll, that's, baby. Yeah, if people will only listen to stream. PS4 courses. and Xbox One. Right, yeah, let's get back on track. So, uh, yeah, Sony kind of like, hey, look, a release date. We got a release date along with a price because we've seen the price. Anyway. I know, it's still gutted though. What's with it? Worldwide release date? No, no, actually, it's not worldwide. It's two weeks later. Yeah, it's it's. What's the deal? American launch the fifteenth of September. America's further no, September? away. Holy crap! <laughs> September, yeah. but, it's, it's but how does it work? North America presumably is further away from Korea. From Korea or Japan? I think Sony's a Japanese company. Is it South Korea. Pretty Korea? sure they're no, Japanese, Japanese companies. Japanese. Anyway, point being, wherever they make that, probably in China. It's probably let's China. be honest. Yeah, let's admit that. That's China. Is it really closer to North America than it is Europe? Uh, it depends on which way you're going around the world. If they're going towards Europe first, no, no, they're further away, definitely. If they're going to America first, then. In but you can't really go past America, can you? You can't do that as a round trip. You can't it's go, let's go through America and then dump it on a boat at the other side and then send that one to Europe. I just want to quickly clarify whilst we're on this. It was November the 15th, not September. Sorry for the wrong information. If you got a bit excited and decided to go out and try and buy one on September 15th, not my fault. You should have kept listening. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, November the 29th over here, which yeah, you know, it's, it's cool, but it's like just before Christmas. I kind of wanted it in October, I'll be honest. But I've wanted it since February. So. I would have been happy with like the first of November because you would have had Assassin's Creed, to say three, but four Black Flag. But I, I think it kind of would have been awesome if it, it released at the same time because it would have left a bit more than a couple of weeks before Christmas where I have to start buying lots of presents instead of just things for myself. Well, a four week period before Christmas. Are they really? You know, <laughs> are they leaving themselves enough time for people to buy it? So yeah, the, the PlayStation 4, out on November 29th over here, if you're in the States, then November the 15th, you, you lucky bastards. Bastard, you know. Exactly. Um, but it's big news and it's exciting times. Yes, consoles. And as along with that as well, in November, definitely November, somewhere in November, is the Xbox One launch, which well, I'm actually you know, looking presumably they, they, That's if they don't do a 180 on the uh, launch day. I still think the machine <laughs> could be the Xbox 180. That would be an like, uh, awesome little... <laughs> Well, yeah, joke no, from that, that, yeah, it'd be great. Them, yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, the slimline iteration of it will be the uh, mm. one. It, I mean, God knows they need a slimline version of it. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, if they made a slimline version of it, it would be just the PlayStation Four, because the PlayStation Four honestly looks like the Xbox One, but slimmer and smaller. True, but still, <laughs> they need. It's too big. Half of it's a fan. Anyway, I'm not going to Xbox bash too much. No, don't. A uh, big announcement from them, obviously, that the game in Europe, at least, is coming with FIFA 14. You could have sounded a bit edition. more excited there. Uh, the game. Well, you know, it's... That uh, comes out with it. It's a big game in Europe, but let's Typical be honest, game. FIFA isn't the most innovative of gaming franchises, is it? But, in all honesty, it's like the second biggest franchise in the entirety of Europe. If you look at, like... That's because you the world's Call of Duty. filled with idiots. <laughs> Idiots who hopefully don't listen to this podcast. Uh, <laughs> it goes like like Call of Duty, even though, and honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the series. Again, I don't think you Call are Call of either. Duty, £50 map pack every year. Stop bashing things. We're talking and discussing. It's fine. Discussing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's, it's all right. We haven't lined up any sort of uh, you know sponsorship from Activision yet. I'm sure I can bash them a bit. <laughs> Once that happens, maybe I'll stop. We'll delete this. It'll be fine. <laughs> no one must ever know no about this. No one ever know about this podcast. Oh, we we love the Call of Duty. Call of Duty. <sighs> oh, T, that's a good idea. T, yes, T. Get that on. That's still hot. That's still very hot. (laughs) How did you do that? (laughs) That is incredibly hot. I think my tea is hotter than yours. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. So, anyway, yes, it is big news for Europe that it's coming with FIFA 14. There are a lot of FIFA 14 fans out there, and it will sway a lot of people who are sitting on the fence. I mean, at the end of the day, it it changes that price gap quite a bit. Well, I mean, one thing for it, I mean... I saw it coming. I was like, FIFA 14, I, I'm not really a big football person, but Cardiff City are now in the Premiership. But I was thinking about possibly buying it just to go, <gasps> look at the first game with Cardiff in the Premiership. Oh, my God. I'll be honest with me. you. I will probably do the same thing that I've done with FIFA every single year since it's come out. I'll buy it. I'll play it. I'll rage quit. I'll trade <laughs> it in. I will miss it. I will buy it. I will play it. I will rage quit, and I'll trade it in. And this cycle will go on for about eight months until I finally decide... I've had enough of FIFA, the new one's out, and then I'll buy that. Well, I, I, I'm going to go with this cycle. I'm gonna go, I buy my Xbox One, I download FIFA, I play it, I rage quit, uh, it stays on there, always delete it. And and, <laughs> and then I re-download it, <laughs> and, and go, okay, oh, Cardiff's in the Premiership, yay! And just kind of have it on there for prosperity sake. <laughs> By the way, I kind of live near Cardiff. That's just, you know, my team, my Premiership team, baby. Yeah, uh, funnily enough, I've never heard him support them until now. Hey, hey, <laughs> I have old old Cardiff tops that don't fit me anymore to say that I've been supporting them for a long time, even though I don't really yeah, do football. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Right, fair enough. And Barrytown. <laughs> Barrytown. Who aren't even in the Welsh Premiership anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I still support now, now them, Now we're man. just talking about football. This is a Gamescom podcast. What have you oh, got? Oh, Gamescom. Sorry, yes. Uh, what, what have we got next? We've got like... Uh, IGN versus Battlefield. Hang on, you've skipped a few there, man. No, I haven't. You got the, oh, wait, you got no, the we have. You got the Resogun Day 1 PlayStation Plus stuff. There you go. Resogun Day 1 on PlayStation oh, yeah, Plus. Oh, yeah, Resogun. Moving on. No. <laughs> as well as Drive Club. Let's talk about launch lineups. So, obviously, PlayStation is touting something like 33 games on launch, 16 of which are boxed, and then I think the rest of them are digital downloads. Digital download only. PSN. Um, I mean, there's really, really cool um, looking indie games coming. Rhyme, for me, looks like an awesome cross between. Uh, something like Journey and, and Zelda. Um, I'm hoping it will be. I'm hoping there's going to be something like that. Kind that of way I don't have to buy a Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> kind of do feel everybody kind of overly focused on indie devs, though. Like, indie devs are the best. Well, like, all because of when they announced things, they were like, yeah, well, screw indie devs. Well, who cares? It's and not really that. It's basically Minecraft has done this to the world. Well, blame Christ Minecraft. Me. So, I mean, big news there. No, honestly, Minecraft coming onto like all PlayStation systems. I know. And the bigger one for me is I want to see because with with Final Fantasy, the latest one. You got it eventually. Yeah, no, no yeah. I forgot what it was called. Final <laughs> Fantasy. 14, Something. Uh, uh, reborn, it's got some um, numbers yeah, on the yeah. end. The fact that they've done cross PC and PlayStation Three, and um, presumably they're going to be doing PS4 as well. Is it coming out on that? I, I don't, don't remember. think so. But anyway, they are doing P- PS3. Cross PC um, servers, which means feasibly they can do the same with Minecraft, which means the Minecraft experience on PlayStation 4 could be a lot more similar to the PC experience. Uh, no, it's going to be different devs, though. I mean, it's going to be like the Xbox version, which is horrifically fragmented no, 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 from no, no. the main yeah, PC but version. Not necessarily. The thing with Xbox is they don't want cross platform servers. They don't want it. That's why they didn't get Final Fantasy, because they weren't happy to do that. Now, seeing as Sony are, there's every chance that you could see a much, much more PC like experience of Minecraft on the PlayStation. More uh, he's speechless. Yeah. I've never seen him speechless, so there the we go. The only thing I was gonna say really is Minecraft on PlayStation. I, I really thought Microsoft paid a ton of money to kinda keep that on their systems. Yeah, and but Sony dropped the golden PlayStation, didn't they? Let's be honest. No, they kinda went, look, there's some guys with some boxes on their heads, they look like things for Minecraft. I oh wait, they are. Minecraft everybody on the PlayStation. Did you not hear about it though? Um Sony sent Mojang, uh, I can't remember his actual name, Notch. Notch, yeah. Um, a golden PS1. Oh, no, no, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, they sent him a golden PS1 to try and bribe him to get uh, I, Minecraft I... onto the PS4. Or at least that's the rumour. Seems to have worked. Well done, Sony. I've got a PS1. If I, if 
I make it gold, you yeah. know, somehow. Can we give it to someone and get free stuff? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping possibly, for. Possibly, maybe. That possibly, maybe. Possibly, maybe. Maybe, possibly. Well, you know. Impossibly, maybe. Or, let's take it up a notch. I've got an old PS2 sitting upstairs. You know, that's that's who wants it. <laughs> First person to comment on the podcast gets his old PS2. Well, it's not mine actually. It's my old friend's one that doesn't <laughs> work anymore. All oh, right, fine. It doesn't work let's, anymore. Let's not give it's away it's just stuff. like the shell of a machine. It's it's like the ghost of its <laughs> like former past kind of thing. It's like, oh, I'm so old and don't work. But if we paint it gold, it's set it for a fortune, like Minecraft on the. Well, it's not no. everything now, isn't it? Anyway, speaking on of... On the 3DS! Seeing as we have got onto Minecraft and Mojang, uh, Cobalt, looking like a very interesting title. <laughs> yeah, I wrote to kind of just saw it now, just pull this, and... It's kind of... Like, I mean, what the hell is it? It's like a 2D shooter Side-scrolling, multiplayer, racing action, to the end fighter shooter game. Thing. With slow motion and kicking missiles. <laughs> I saw someone <laughs> kick a missile. it with his foot. He was like, <laughs> boop. There goes the missile. Um... I'll tell you, well, what we need to do is get the alpha up, don't we? Um, Hands on with the alpha. Yeah, I think Make that's what we need to do. Get it up. And then we can find out what it really is. <laughs> as opposed to just speculating and saying Or keep playing words. and go, what is this game? <laughs> does anybody know what this game is? But it does look like it's going to be rather entertaining. And seeing as it's coming from Mojang, I've got a feeling it's going to be a hit. It more than likely will just simply just really off like, from that name. Yeah. Oh, they're making a new game. I will buy it now. I've just thought of another game. What's I, that? I know we, we you did a bit of thigh slapping there. To I know we, we haven't actually make got a this point in the list. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? Tell me. Hearthstone. Um, Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Is it Hearthstone? Hearthstone. Hearth- Hearth- I'd say Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Anyway, however you say it. Um, the the Warcraft uh, card based game. Yes. That is on PC. I signed up for that beta ages ago. I've recently been watching people play it, and it looks awesome. I <laughs> quite want to have a go. I want to go. I've never been one for actual card games, but put it on the PC See, and give it s- uh, graphics, and it's amazing. I really do like card games, so that <laughs> that it could be a... This could <laughs> be one where Mike gets to kick my ass. So it'd be quite <laughs> fun. Yeah, oh, we, we let's, let's take the mickey out of that one, shall we? <laughs> I can be a good gamer on the right game, okay? Just give me the right <laughs> game. I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, well, yet to be proved. Card games on PCs. That's yeah, that's, that's a real game. Let's just hope it doesn't <laughs> feature actual actual microtransactions. I will be poor um, quite quickly. Yeah, they are. You can buy card oh, packs. Uh, biscuit. Two packs for three ninety nine, I think, or something like that. <laughs> you can buy something like twenty packs for fifty quid. Jesus. Or it might be more. <laughs> that <laughs> that sounds expensive. <laughs> but you need a good deck. No, Let's no, I, oh, no. I, uh. Okay, perhaps I don't want to be part of this beta anymore. I let's, let's avoid that at all. Costs. They do have a bit. I mean, what if we could get onto the big beta? We might be able to have a bit of fun with it. But for now, um, just keep your eyes peeled because it does look like it might be a little bit of a fun game to play. Yeah, I do want to play it though. Right, should we move on to IGN and the slating review of uh, Hands On Time with Battlefield on the PS4? I just have to quickly interject here and say that was a rather smooth transition from Hearthstone to IGN versus Battlefield. Because <laughs> then we already quickly mentioned it earlier. Like a little teaser. Oh, are we talking about this? Later on. Moving on now. Yes. Um, so, yeah, you were telling me. Because, I mean, I don't really know much about this. Kind of so caught a bit of it today. IGN got their hands on um, <laughs> Battlefield 4 on the PS4 for a little bit of multiplayer action. And by their accounts, at least, uh, the game seems somewhat not quite as polished or finished as we have been led to believe. Now, we already know at E3, um, a lot of the stuff, especially coming from uh, one of the camps, was being run on high-end PCs. We won't say which. And it also looks like most of the Battlefield 4 stuff we have seen, at least the um, 64 player online, also has been all through uh, PCs. Because IGN, again, this is according to them, they were only allowed to play the 16 player online, so they weren't getting the full online experience. But even then, they said textures were poor at best. Um, they were nowhere near as polished as they were in the, the previous footage we've seen. The guns, apparently they look pretty good when they're at the hip. But as soon as you bring them up and so, uh, look down the sights, again, the textures just sort of fade out. And it looks a bit wishy-washy and blurred. But with that, just to, you're not trying to defend the game. I haven't played it. I couldn't tell you for sure. 
but <clears throat> when you do bring it up as like to you know, line up down the eyesight, you're not focusing on the gun. It's perhaps it's like a depth of field thing going Maybe. on. Maybe again, without having seen it myself, can't really tell. And as far as I, can, I, I know, IGN aren't, you know, they're not saying anything about the PS4 with this. They're just saying that it looks like maybe EA haven't quite, well, DICE, haven't quite got this to the sort of level you'd expect it to be at with the launch of the console just a few months away. I'll um, assess it out, don't you worry. I have, I have <laughs> yeah. faith in DICE. Five and back day one patch. God. <laughs> God, can you imagine? It's all right. We can play it as it's downloading. It's the next gen. <laughs> it's all right. Download the patch. I'm going to play Battlefield. But isn't that only on PlayStation 4, though? Well, that is to, PlayStation 4. To, yeah, but, but I mean, obviously Xbox hasn't been... Well, Xbox doesn't matter. Xbox Day 1, 70 gig patch, entire new operating system. <laughs> everyone needs online Everyone trying you? to download it on the same day. Let's see how that works. Uh, well, it, it's not going to, is it? No, it's not. Oh, look, the, the dog is coming <laughs> in. <laughs> Hello, Cubes. Bye. The dog wanted to say hello. She realised that she can't talk, and so anyway, we, we, we've got back onto bashing the Xbox a little bit there. But oh, it's just being crazy. Day one, I mean, uh, well, yeah, day one patch that's going to be a, an entirely new operating system, essentially reversing a lot of the changes. I mean, everyone will have to download that straight away on day one. How are their servers going to cope? I mean, we've seen well, they're meant to have a whole lot of new servers now, aren't they? So. Yeah, but the amount of games this year that have launched that said, we have all the servers in place, this will be fine. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Crash. Yeah. Boom, explosion of server. So, it's well, we'll have to see. But day one could be interesting for the Xbox, at least. And also for Battlefield. Let's see exactly how that pans out. I'm all right. I'll be playing it with a nice, shiny PC. <laughs> in uh, high resolution, <sighs> with, with many, many frames per second. <laughs> see, now, this, I mean... This is where I get stuck because I want to play Battlefield. And just, just from sheer joy of playing Bad Company One and Two, because that was so much fun. Where's Bad Company Three? Where's Bad Company Can Three? Can I just say that? Come on, Dice. Where is Bad Company Three? Like, we, I'll even let you put Battlefront on the back burner if you give me <laughs> Bad Company Three. <laughs> well, we got to wait a couple of years before Battlefront, and they're probably not going to be working on Bad Company Three by now. I mean, no, it looks like they're they're never going to do it. I, I mean. Don't. Sorry, I, I'll I tell you what, <laughs> if if I don't get a Bad Company 3, I'll be happy with a Half-Life 3. Oh, Half-Life 3. But, you know, news about Half-Life hey, 3 so, yeah, is, is, is just like not race. coming, is it? We can start placing like odds for like which comes first, Bad Company 3 or Half-Life 3. <laughs> <laughs> no, which is going to come first, the PS5 or Bad <laughs> or um, Half-Life 3? Too far, man. Too far. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I stuttered there, yeah, I stumbled. It's not, it, it, it's not funny. No. God, rubbish, isn't it? You can talk whilst I'm drinking, you know, so they can actually have something to listen to other than me going slip, 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 slip. I, I, yeah. Well, you just, you, you just put me down, oh, to be honest with you. Oh, just... it's okay. <sighs> it's okay. So, yeah, that's that's basically it from the, the IGN Battlefield review from what I've, I've read anyway. Hopefully they're wrong. And, you know, generally speaking, it probably just means that uh, IGN <laughs> want a bit more money from EA. <laughs> That's a fair point. Um, they not might that we're just suggesting be anything here. <laughs> they might just be not a thing. Them up a little bit there. Mm. Um, other big news from Gamescom: there's going to be a Watch Dogs film. You know, Sony teased us in a little bit with that one. We thought maybe we were going to be getting a an exclusive third party game for free, given the way that uh, Sony have jumped on everything Xbox have done and they're giving us something. But no, they teased it in just to announce that they're partnering up for a film. They haven't even released the game yet. They're like, yeah, we're we're happy with the what game. We think it's good. Where's the Assassin's Creed film? That that's supposed to be being made. Well, supposedly, if it's being made. It won't be out yet. Calm down. No. <laughs> <laughs> Point got, being, they, they're not announcing anything about that. It's got Michael Fassbender doing it. He's produced. Is he producing and being in it? I don't know. I know he's it's in his it. His production company. I know Michael Fassbender is. is it's production. As long as it's better than the Far Cry film, it's fine. I saw a little bit of that. I turned off after about ten minutes. That was terrible. I watched it all. I Why did you do that? It melted my eyeballs. Oh. It, it was so poor. But yeah, so a movie. A movie on a game movie, that's already out. That's going to show some, some love for that cool. franchise. I mean, yeah, but at the minute, I, I <laughs> we're talking about things, we're supposed to be talking about games kind things, but I'm going to say, if you're making a film, make The Last of Us into a film, please. <gasps> mm, Before you do what you talk about so many times. 
that Mark <laughs> Wahlberg was meant to be doing it. And I was like, Mark Wahlberg, really? As Nathan Drake? I don't, I don't see it. I don't know. He's he's been better. It's a bit like Ben Affleck as Batman. Well, I I can get on board with that. I I saw him in Argo. The man has matured. He has a beard now. True. But do you not see his Bruce Wayne being a little bit more like Tony Stark than Bruce Wayne? No, 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 no. I mean, admittedly, no. This is and this how is can Daredevil be Batman? From just, just any comic book fans <laughs> who it's like, what? What is going on? Um, I mean, Daredevil for a poor movie that it was. It was a poor movie. I enjoyed it. I gotta say, I I actually like. Sorry, it. can I, I just say at this point that I am not affiliated with him in any <laughs> way whatsoever, and these views are his own. Yes, these these are my own opinions. <laughs> I said, it, I admit it's a poor film, but I still enjoyed it. Electro, on the other hand, that that should never have happened. But uh, Daredevil, I enjoyed. Um, but admittedly, he's got he's got to take it in a completely different route. I mean, for starters, you can see, um, he's got a bit more money too. He's not a blind um, bum. No, he's not a bum. He's, he's a lawyer. What the heck? God, I can't remember what he is now. I don't remember what kind of person he. What person he is? He's not a person. He's a blind superhero who can do acrobats. Oh, yes. Dicks. Acrobatics, not just acrobats. Moving on, because this is going to get me slated. There's, we shouldn't have brought that up. No, we what really did you do shouldn't. That for? I didn't. I Why brought did you up. Do that? I brought up Ben Affleck as Batman, Why? which Why which is you? a fairly sort of you know popular topic to talk about. At the not minute. a games you, come round up. You brought up. Daredevil. Oh, but you had to bring up Daredevil if you this bring is up like Ben Affleck. In a obviously, we, we went to see Jurassic Park the other day yeah. in 3D. Yeah. Yeah. This is like Hammond bringing the scientists and the lawyer bringing the rock star. He's still a scientist. Yeah, but he was Daredevil. I brought she Batman. He was a blind scientist? <laughs> Slash rock star? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this? The analogy went wrong. I mean, he's he's like one of the only few who actually survived and went on and admittedly made another poor movie afterwards. But um, true, but he's a complete dick through most of the film. Not in the second one. No, the second one he's he made it more interesting. He's whingy. He's just like, oh my god, my daughter. He just turns into Jeff Goldblum, basically. Yeah, essentially. He he talks weirdly, often, because <laughs> that's just Jeff Goldblum <laughs> right there. But at the same time, anyway, we, we're I completely love off Gamescom again. We're on movies now. I oh, know. Stop it! <laughs> Don't get me started on a topic. Except for the ones we're meant to be talking right, about. Right, so yeah, we were talking about the Watch Dogs movie. Might be good, might not be. We'll have to wait and see. But hopefully, Sony Pictures are getting behind it. It's possible that it could be a Sony exclusive then. Obviously, if Sony Pictures are publishing it, it might be... Free download. For only as a PS download. Plus movies. <gasps> oh. Well, there is talk that they've um, made some sort of deal with Viacom at the minute for internet cable, as they say. Internet so, cable. Yes, internet cable TV. Uh, I don't know what that means for over here. That's Netflix? Presumably just in the <laughs> No, they've already got Netflix. But I like the Netflix. Make yes, that we've, free. We've got Netflix. That's what we'll make it free. <laughs> it's not going to happen, happy. is made, it? Made, make Netflix free, and I will just love Sony forever. He'll buy two. I will. He'll, he'll buy two PS4s if Sony make Netflix free. One for the TV, one for the bedroom. I mean... Play games wherever then. <laughs> Put it on the Vita as well. Okay, right. Let's move on from this. Let's let's move on to something Xbox related because we haven't really talked about Xbox much. Now, this is something I'm a little excited for. Probably the, the only game Mark's excited for with the Xbox and, you know, I, I'm not. But anyway, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct. They have <laughs> announced payment plans by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, because I mean, they've talked about it for ages. Like It's like a, it's a free-to-play game and now they're saying, no, no, it's not free-to-play. Mm-mm. Nope, it's like a generous demo. Well, you know, what? But anyway, basically... Sorry, yeah. hold on. Yeah, they're saying it's a generous demo. <laughs> so the the company that brought you the 180 system... I'm just going to call it the 180 Fair system. Enough, the 180 system, now system now yeah. yeah, why not? Um, and hasn't made enough mistakes already, has now turned their free-to-play game into a demo. Well, they're not saying it was ever. I mean, it's what? Hang on. They're saying, basically, it was never a free-to-play game because yeah, cause that free-to-play system incorporates you having to pay for things and if you don't you can still earn it but you have to work hard and it reminds you that you can possibly buy it whereas in this they just simply say hey here's a free character here's some levels and stuff enjoy like a demo would but you know you can go online you still have all the features of the game and to a point it makes sense but at the same time you don't have to pay to play the game it's free to play but there we go moving on hold on no 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 <laughs> oh, no, no. let's not <laughs> move on just yet about if, if you state that a system is coming with a game for free, 
and it then turns out that it's not actually a full game. You can't progress past a certain no, point, th- and it's just can. a demo. You can still play the game completely free uh, with just one character, and apparently that character will be on a rotation. I think after a few months, it becomes another character. But you did say that you could only play a set number of levels. I didn't. No? Oh, I thought you did. No. I said it will come. So it's not a demo, then. You can still do everything that comes in the game. You can play online. You can play the training mode. Just as one character. Just as one character. That's going to get then awfully you, boring. And then, if you want to, you can buy extra characters. Which makes it free to play. So when this comes out, can we have all your friends on so I can kick their asses again? This is going to happen. Sweet. I've informed Dave of this. <laughs> Hi, Dave, if you're listening. Because I have to explain this in a second. So I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. Um... Yeah, so basically, I'm going to beat you all again. The way just, <laughs> just if you're listening, I will win. The way this is going to work, so um, you can buy individual c- um, fighters, characters, whatever have you, for is it three ninety nine? Three pound ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Four ninety nine euros. Four euros ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, um, and w- with that, you get uh, you know one character for that price. They are then doing the combo breaker pack, which I think is like six, six, sixteen, sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah sixteen ninety nine. Uh, and I guess you eight characters, six of which they will announce before the game is launched. And then two after the game is launched. So they're obviously not saying who they are yet. We know of three characters so far, I think. No, four. Jago, um, Saberwolf, Chief Thunder. Woo, he's back. Uh, and Glacius. I'm hoping some more. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So yes, you can pay that much and you get the eight characters. And there you go. You know, it's, a cheap, it's a discounted price for all the characters. But, and this is the one I think I'm going to go for... There is the uh, ultimate, ultra, the ultra, ultra combo, ultra, pack. ultra bundle, ultra combo. I, I pack. put ultra com- uh, bundle there, but I think it's the ultra combo. Ultra combo, fair enough. Ultra something, something, something pack. Something. So basically, instead of getting this free game that he was supposed to get, Mike's going to pay thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. We'll so get he's you. going to buy the listen game. To, listen to what? Yeah, the well, free I, game he will buy. I, but yes, because listen, good God, man. Thirty four ninety nine gets you, and that's also in euros. Uh, Let me guess, it unlocks the that. entire game and all the characters. No, because you're still hitting the entire game from the very get go anyway. But you do get still all eight characters, accessory packs. God, you need those accessories. Um, <laughs> Seriously, what accessories? I don't know. They haven't said. Let me just finish. You get eight characters for thirty four ninety nine. Each character costs three ninety nine. And mid then, it's only twenty four pound. Mid then. You also very slow maths. You also get. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him. He's like, oh, I just put there. Oh, that price is this. Um, and I just got it wrong and realized it wasn't twenty four pounds at all. It was thirty two. Still cheaper, but there we go. Cheaper by. It was like, very slow and wrong maths. Yeah. So yeah, it is. What time is it? Is it eleven o'clock? Is it eleven o'clock? It's eleven o'clock. I've been up since six. I haven't. Um. But yeah, they also then get some in the morning, not the evening. I figured that. Okay. <laughs> the accessories. Um. Also, character skins and different outfits and such. And they said this time, unlike like the originals where they just seem to change the color of their pants to blue instead of green, um, they're actually going to give you some proper different outfits. Yay! Clothes. But this is virtual where shopping, people. This is this is it now. This is the main part here. The original Killer Instinct arcade game to download and play. Could I not just get an emulator and a ROM? Because that isn't particularly legal. It's um, not illegal. Isn't particularly e- le- illegal because it's grey area, murky. But they best. said the arcade version, which you couldn't buy and download, uh, buy anyway. So I, I essentially pretty much pay thirty four ninety nine for that part of it. So you're paying thirty four ninety nine yes. for the remake of a game that wasn't particularly good when it, it was, was awesome. out originally. Stop it! It was awesome. So that you can also have the original game, which, as I just said, wasn't particularly good to begin it with. It was an awesome game. So you're having a mediocre game. I've been waiting for this game for ages. It's been remade into an even more mediocre game, Stop so that you can Xbox have the original bashing. mediocre. It's That's all it is. Bashing. No, this no, is Killer it's, Instinct it's, bashing. It's an exclusive. What do I do? I must bash it. I don't want it on my PlayStation anymore because it's an Xbox One exclusive. I've never wanted Killer Instinct. Yes, you do. I, I see never like Killer in your Instinct. Face. But anyway, as I was saying... As you found before, I don't really play fighter games. This is what I'm getting to, you see. Because if I get the original Killer Instinct download, and Dave has been going about, oh, well, I can beat anyone at Killer Instinct. Oh, you want... Oh, oh right, yeah, you okay, see it now. See you, yeah. you, you want me to kick his ass again. Basically, I want to see if I can kick his ass again. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should just have this Killer Instinct Grand Tournament where we all kick Dave's ass. And I can get drunk again. 
we'll come to that another time when we're not on the microphone. But yeah, yeah basically you can. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh, so yeah, that, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I am genuinely excited. And not a lot of people will be because some people don't even know what the hell Killer Instinct is. Um, other people go, oh, it looks too much like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. When it's not, it's going to be a very different game. Um, people are generally getting excited. Really? For it. Very different game. It's a fighter. Okay, yes, but they play and feel different. You play Street Fighter and then you play Mortal Kombat. They will feel different. You hold back to block. Oh my god. And you... <laughs> In fact, Mortal Kombat was fun. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> when Once I figured out how to block the uh, special attacks, that was fun. Ooh, I'll tell you what I got announced today. The day one editions of, well, we know about the day one editions, but what you get inside the day one editions of uh, things like Rise and such. Okay. I think what, Rise, you get like a multiplayer arena and a weapon. Uh, I don't remember what exactly the weapon does, but you get a weapon. But presumably, seeing as we are talking about Rise, I... <laughs> This is really going to look like I am Xbox bashing, but I'm not. You've just moved on to Rise, and you're talking about the extra weapon you get as day one content. Presumably, that will be completely redundant once people start buying things, seeing as the multiplayer aspect of the game has a ton of um, microtransactions, and essentially, you earn in-game credits, but you can also buy in-game credits, and the point being that you to rank up, to level up, you have to get different sets of armor and different weapons and things like that. Now, all of this is going to be accessible via purchasing. Is that not just making multiplayer pay to win? Isn't this essentially making multiplayer a free-to-play system, but where you have to pay for the game in the first place? So, therefore, it's not free-to-play, but they're incorporating that system all the same. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> this, see, this... This is the thing, this really does grate me, and it grated me a little bit with Battlefield 3, when everybody who bought the game from day one and had put in a lot of effort to sort of rank up and unlock gear, they decided to even the playing field, and along came the premium pack. It's like, buy the premium pack, unlock half the gear. I, I don't know, there's... there's you know that's going to happen again with them before. Yeah, right? and th th there is some validity to microtransactions. It obviously means that they can reduce costs in other places, we don't have to have season passes or, you know, online passes and things like that. And they can still make money. And for FIFA and Battlefield and Call of Duty, it's been big money. But do they not have to sort of balance that with the whole paying to win? Being able to just buy the best gear straight <laughs> from the off? I think I fell asleep halfway through that. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no. Um... I just used to you just bashing things. That's all it is. I think I'm I just zone out. <laughs> Bash you later. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> I got my doggy to protect me. <laughs> she looks rather comfortable just right now. Let, let's bear in mind, because the, the people out there can't actually see. He's talking about a little cockapoo to protect him. She can be vicious. I have some very vicious bite marks on my... Really? Well, whenever I come in, she runs away from me. That's not true. <laughs> But yes. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, you, you have to. You, well, you don't have to pay, but you can do. And I don't see the point in that, it, apart from it making them quite a bit of money. Probably you, you say you can do, but not everybody can. I mean, at the end of the day, it is creating a sort of divide between the people that can afford to waste well, some money. This on is it what I meant. The option the is there to do yeah, it. That's what I meant by you can do. I mean, I'm not going to make use of it. I mean, I, well, I don't. I'm a big multiplayer character gamer anyway, as you can probably tell. Because I, I'm not huge, but I mean, we, we push for. We're going to have to start playing some more multiplayer games and get them out there, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's going to happen. Certainly with the whole bunch of new stuff coming out, where it's like continuously online games, which people can yeah. join your Perpetual games. Perpetual online environment. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's going to happen a lot, phrase. a lot, a lot. Oh man, it's going to be awesome at the same time. I mean, for example, things like was it, was it Destiny? Is it is it doing that? Yeah, Destiny's. Because uh, I know you get the public arenas. Essentially, um, an MMO almost. Kinda first person MMO. It's kind of different. I like it. I really want it. I want it now. You um, do have world events that you can all get involved in. It it does look very very uh, MMO like. And then you got things like the Division. The Division, yeah. Again, the crew. Yeah. Forza. Um. Dead Rising? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know, because obviously people can come on with the tablets and do something yeah. and help you out, but I don't actually know. Watch dogs to some extent? Yes, because people can, can literally jump just in jump in and, and out. watch and people through the camera system, yeah. which is quite cool. 
So yeah, it does seem that uh, obviously the online is going to play a big part. Obviously, um, that was the other one of the other announcements that came. I think it was just before Gamescom that the tablet functionality for Battlefield will only be available through the next gen consoles. I mean, it was fairly obvious anyway because how exactly you would get the the tablets running through the current well, generation. Smart Glass. Smart Glass does. I mean, there's nothing really for PlayStation, and they want it to work across both. Yeah. And even then, Smart Glass doesn't work tremendously well. Yeah, uh, I've used it a few times, but not very often. It's kind of like, eh. I just hope they do it better this next gen. But like, yeah, well, <coughs> should do anyway. At least, well, the thing is, it's third-party developers, so we're going to have uh, third-party tech. It's not just going to be smart glass. You'll be able to use different applications. I'm assuming, seeing as it's going to be on both consoles, you might find that the companies will be releasing their own apps for individual games. I would have thought so, yeah. Right, well, we seem to have babbled on for quite a long time. A little bit. And Snitch. what was supposed to be a Gamescom podcast has, <laughs> has overrun a little bit into some <laughs> other areas. Movie and uh, But it's been a bit of fun. Uh, I guess we should kind of try and wrap this up now. So well, Yeah, I have kind of just finished my cup of tea as well. Yeah, my tea is also gone. That's, that's how you judge a podcast. The, the length, length of a cup of, of tea. tea. I think that's about <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a good discussion of a cup of tea here. So I'm going to say this is Jack Hammer signing off. Uh, and this is Will of Smeg also uh, signing off. So that's it. So yeah, until next week, goodbye. Goodbye.